Hi everyone, welcome to Pharmachem Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain about Friedel-Craft alkylation and Friedel-Craft acylation of benzene. So first, in 1877, two scientists and the first one is a French chemist named as Charles Friedel and his American collaborator James M. Crafts. Both the scientists discovered new methods for the preparation of alkyl benzenes and acyl benzenes. So that's why the, those reactions used for the synthesis of alkyl and acyl benzenes are simply known as friedel crafts alkylation and acylation reactions. And coming to the first and important uh, reaction is friedel crafts alkylation of benzene. So alkylation is nothing but addition of alkyl group to the respective benzene is nothing but friedel craft alkylation. Here is the definition. Benzene reacts with alkyl halides in the presence of Lewis acid like aluminum chloride, aluminum trichloride or aluminum chloride to form alkyl benzene. So this is the reaction. Benzene reacts with alkyl uh, uh, chloride. Uh, we are taking here is a methyl chloride. It reacts in the presence of Lewis acid. It gives a methyl benzene also known as a toline with the release of HCl. So coming to the mechanism. The mechanism it is a type of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. So it involves in three steps. Coming to the first step is formation of an electrophile. Second step is electro attack of electrophile on aromatic ring. And third one is loss of proton. And coming to the first step, formation of electrophile. The alkyl halide we are using here is a methyl chloride. By using catalyst aluminum trichloride, the methyl chloride is because of more electronegativity of chlorine. The chlorine is released as Cl minus. And the Cl minus will attack the aluminum because of the positivity of aluminum. It will attack the Cl minus and AlCl3 is converted into AlCl4 minus with the formation of methyl cation. This is the first step. The formed methyl cation entering to the second step. The second step is attack of electrophile on aromatic ring. First, the benzene system undergoes the pi system is involved in the electrophilic attack. The pi bond shifts towards this corner carbon and this carbon gets negative charge and the adjacent carbon gets a positive charge. So the negative charged carbon attacks the electrophile nothing but methyl cation which is liberated from the step 1. And the negative charge accepts the methyl cation and finally there is a formation of carbonium ion. So wherever the methyl cation will attack that corner carbon always we are representing a hydrogen. And this carbonium ion undergoes stabilization by the next step is nothing but loss of proton. How there is a loss of proton is H always lost as H plus. The bond between carbon and hydrogen is shift between carbon and carbon to stabilize the carbonium ion and to get an uh, aromatic ring system. The proton is taken from the excess Cl- and finally it forms a methyl benzene with the formation of aluminum trichloride as well as HCl. These are the three steps involved in friedel crafts alkylation. But there are certain drawbacks are there for friedel crafts alkylation. The first drawback is it is very difficult to stop the reaction when one alkyl group ha has entered the ring. Why? Because is alkyl groups are electron releasing groups. All the electron releasing groups are ring activators. And finally, the methyl, suppose if there is a formation of methyl benzene, the methyl benzene promotes further methylation and it gives di or tri alkyl or tri methyl benzenes in this reaction. There is a one of the drawback of friedel crafts alkylation. Another drawback is the alkyl groups often tend to rearrange. Up to two carbon atoms, no problem for the friedel crafts alkylation. We can prepare 
methyl benzenes, ethyl benzenes easily by Friedel crafts, alkylation but not propyl and butyl benzenes etc. Why? Because is the propyl cation or butyl cation whatever generated from the step 1 it undergoes rearrangement before attacking the benzene system. Because of that rearrangement, it forms a different types of products. Whatever we are expected, those products are not formed by Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction. Here I am showing the one example. The benzene reacts with propyl chloride. So we thought that there is a formation of propyl benzene. Here Cl lost and this CH2 will attack the benzene and we get a propyl benzene. But Instead of propyl benzene, we are getting isopropyl benzene as an final product. Why this will happen is because of the propyl cation, whatever generated, it undergoes rearrangement into isopropyl cation. That isopropyl cation will attack the benzene and finally it produces isopropyl benzene. Why there is a formation of isopropyl cation is because the isopropyl cation is a secondary carbocation whereas propyl cation is primary. The secondary carbocation is more stable that's why there is a formation of isopropyl benzene instead of formation of a propyl benzene. These are the two drawbacks. First one is polyalkylation nothing but di and trialkyl benzenes are possible in Friedel craft alkylation and next one is if the carbon length is more than 3 or more than 2 automatically it undergoes rearrangement and forms different type of products these are the important two drawbacks of Friedel crafts alkylation and next reaction is Friedel crafts acylation of benzene in Friedel crafts acylation of benzene there is a acyl group is attached to the benzene and it gives acyl benzenes. So benzene reacts with acid chlorides in the presence of Lewis acid same like aluminium trichloride to form acyl benzene. Nothing but an aromatic ketones are generated by Friedel Craft acylation. So this is the reaction. Benzene reacts with acetyl chloride. What happens here? The Cl is taken up by aluminium and this C double bond is connected to the benzene and finally it gives acyl benzene nothing but aromatic ketones with the loss of HCl. Coming to the mechanism again involves the three steps and the first step is formation of electrophile. How there is a formation of electrophile? Here the Cl is lost as Cl minus because of more electronegativity, the Cl attacked by aluminium because of its positive charge and, and it forms AlCl4- because of loss of this bond, the carbon only have 3 bonds, 1, 2 and 3, then it gets a positive charge. The formed CH3, C double bond, wo, wo, we can name it as acylenium ion. This is the electrophile. The acylenium ion as electrophile which is generated from the step 1 is entering into the next step. Second step is attack of electrophile on aromatic ring. The pi bond of benzene system is in having negativity. It will attack the positive carbon and finally it forms a carbonium ion. And the last and final step loss of proton. Again the same way. The pi bond, the sigma bond between carbon and hydrogen is shift between carbon and carbon. Here we are getting double bond. The lost proton accept an Cl minus from AlCl4 minus and finally it gives an acetophenone with the formation of aluminium trichloride with the release of HCl. So mechanism is same but the reagent we are using is different between Friedel Craft alkylation and acylation. In Friedel Craft alkylation we are using alkyl chlorides or alkyl halides. In Friedel Craft acylation we are using acid chlorides. One of the important note uh, in Friedel Craft acylation is what is the drawback we are studied in uh, alkylation? We can't prepare propyl and butyl benzenes because of rearrangement. 
but by friedelcraft acylation we uh, those compounds nothing but propylene butyl benzene we cannot be prepared from alkyl halides without rearrangement they can best prepared by friedelcraft acylation followed by clemenson reduction sequence that is i explained uh, here suppose here we are uh, using a three carbon atom c double bond was ch2ch3 then just we are getting an uh, uh, instead of acetophenone we get an three carbon compound here so just we can the ketone is undergoes reduction by clemenson reduction it is converted into ch2 ch2 and ch3 nothing but we can easily prepare an propylene butyl benzene without rearrangement by friedelcraft acylation simply by following an clemenson reduction sequence that is about friedelcraft acylation so thank you one and all uh, for your attention hope you all understood uh, this topic well if you are having any doubts uh, please comment on your uh, comment box thank you